Welcome to the Swift Pilot Client tutorial video and we will talk about the mapping tool and how to uh, do a quick and dirty model set. So as you can see this is our mapping tool and we are currently in the stored own models tab. This tab shows us all the aircraft that Swift was able to find in our simulator directory. And this is configured here on the bottom in settings and login. We do the example of X-Plane and this is the correct path. We don't need to set anything in the model directories and we just go back to the mapping editor and we hit the force reload X-Plane button. When the mapping tool is done reading all the models that it could find, it will come up with a message window and um, there are no catastrophic error messages so we can close it and as we can see it found 8401 aircraft and models in my explain 11 directory. Now we need to change to the active model set tab which is currently empty and uh, we need to choose what models we want to use because only the models that are, will be listed in this tab will be available to Swift Pilot Client to display, which we as well call render, aircraft of other players online. For this we click on the button new set and check all the settings here from the top to bottom line by line. Simulator, yep, explain. Mode, full, yeah, we want to make a full new set. Source set, DB data only, means we only want to use models that uh, are known to the Swift database. And distributors, we use all distributors for starters. And then we click OK. And after just a few moments, we get our model set. And um, this is now specific to X-Plane. If you use any other simulator, don't worry. X-Plane is not able to render complex aircraft, which means we have to exclude certain types of planes. Uh, for example, fully flyable aircraft. And there may be some of them here in this model set, but as an easy way to get rid of them, you just select any aircraft, you click on your right mouse button to open the context menu, and you click on model set, and then select remove excluded models. And that's it. Now, before you do anything else, you need to save your model set. If you now close your mapping tool, all your changes will be gone. So first save X-Plane in this case. Obviously, if you're using another simulator, it will, save, it will say save P3D or save MSFS or save FSX. And basically that's it. You got your model set, you can go and fly now.